Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this bitmap and it's fuzzy. It could probably trace, but they want to know, this is going to be like a seal, like a register seal. They just put the number one. I don't know what they're going to put in there, but it's got really sharp edges. Uh, one way you could do it is take the polygon tool. It's got 30 points. I've already counted them. Take a 30-sided polygon, hold down the control button, get it to the center, and then hit P, or get it in the center when you hit P. And then you could take these nodes and right-click and turn them into curves, and then you could start moving these things. And it's going to be real hard to get it symmetrical. Uh, I'm going to have to turn that into a curve. And to get that sharp point and symmetrical, and a pretty nice bottom. That's actually pretty good. But there's another way, and I did this a couple of years ago, just playing around and getting a funny shape, and it just kind of came to me. I'm going to draw a half-inch circle with my ratio locked. I'm going to hit 0.5. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. With, well, I don't have to do that. I'm going to set my nudge factor on 0.5, and I'm going to nudge that. Control D and nudge it up. Control D and nudge them over. And take my smart fill tool and fill that spot in right there. I just did that one night and started playing with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it into the page. About where my circle is, I'm going to delete this. Now, I'm going to get that right in the middle, which it doesn't really matter, but I like the height. So I'm going to put a crossbar there to come up to. And I'm going to hit P. That's going to put it right on the center of that line. Holding down the control button so I won't mess up. And there's my line. Now, double click on it. Move your rotation to the center. As always, it doesn't look like. Go up to Windows, Dockers. Transform or transformation, depending on your uh, version of Corel, 12 degrees. And I just, I just tested it so I know it works. Uh, and let me just show you how to test it. Take that and rotate it. Well, just rotate it by hand. Um, probably the best way. Control D and make a duplicate of that. And just rotate it by hand till they're, to make sure they're going to touch. And there's 13 degrees, so 12 degrees will actually work. And 12 is divisible by 360. So it's going to work. Now you have that and then take this all and weld it together and then left click, right click, go up to object and break curve apart, grab that inner curve and hit um, delete. We can get rid of our indexing lines now. Whoop. Get rid of our indexing lines now and then what I would, if you're going to have some text in here, um, let's make it a little bit bigger. And if you were going to do this, uh, hit P, put it, you've got to be with the pick tool, hit P. Then you could left click, right click, take your smart fill tool and go and fill that in and fill that in. Now you have a, and I'm pretty close if not dead on. That's maybe how that was created. Either that or they did it with the, the um, see it's just, if you do it with the uh, polygon tool, let's take this and see how, let's get rid of our text. If you did it with the polygon tool, it isn't gonna be this, this uh, symmetrical. Let's control D and duplicate it they're right on top of each other because it's symmetrical. Every joint is perfect. I'd be curious if I could break this apart if it's symmetrical also. But anyway, that's just kind of playing around. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.